Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of LEGO Fortnite. Today we are going over some of the changes and updates that Epic has added to the game. Oh, what a beautiful sunrise. Anyways, uh, one of the first things is uh, stack ability of certain resources has been changed. As you can see, arrows, you can now stack up to 80 and then certain resources, not all of them, you can stack up to 50. So some woods, um, you can't do it on wooden rods yet. Um, what was it? Uh, for some reason, obsidian, you can, but these other ores and whatnot, you can't. So just uh, experiment with it and uh, see what can and can't. Also bones, like, does anyone, like, there's, where's my chest of bones? Bones does it. Blast powder. Blast powder doesn't do it. But like, we need a epic. This is off topic, but we need different uses for bones because you get way too many. Anyways, um, also, uh, you guys have noticed that the grappler. I know this isn't recent. It's been a couple days. They updated it to 30 charges and the glitch still works where you can, you don't even have to put it in a chest and break the chest. You can literally simply deposit it and retrieve it and it'll replenish your grappler. Um, I really like that they upped the charges on the grappler because honestly 10 was just so stupid. Cause like you would go to try and use it to cheese brutes and whatnot and just jump around them and shoot them while getting up on higher ground and then halfway through the fight you'd have to build a chest break it and whatnot and this 30 charges allows you to much easier to use enemies um also they uh they repaired this is an old one too they repaired the chest glitch repair wow um and now your enchantments have become way more important. So in order to, I guess, combat some of the backlash from them fixing that glitch, they upped the durability on the tools. Um, so that is extremely helpful too. Uh, some other things that we should be getting soon that I've heard mention of are food potions that'll add different buffs to you. Um, then also a cannon, which I believe will be able to use as a form of, like just in regular gameplay, use as a weapon and also for mobility. Are you kidding me? I'm always freaking hungry. Eat the food, you dang turtle. Um, also, a, did I say this one already? A beetle, a beetle mob. So that should be coming sometime. Also catapults, I've heard talk of which I would also like. Um, some other things I would also like to come to the game are uh, sorts of turrets. And I guess kind of like the catapult and the cannon R1, but I would like one of those, what do they call them? Archibalds or whatever, the giant, basically a, a turret with the giant bow on it. Cause that'd be sweet. Um, also, I would really like them to put in dragons I feel like dragons would be insane and be a great addition to the game um, also lots of people have been talking about this one and I've seen people asking epic partners and major Fortnite players about this uh, these ones are repair tables or a way to repair your tools and then some have even also mentioned um, being able to combine like tools that are partially used together to create one higher, um, durability tool. Um, one thing I would also like them to implement is like you inherit, where is it? This one. Throughout the game, you make all these different things and sometimes you upgrade them and then you just have the things sitting around and it's either you just 
toss them out and wait for them to despawn or just unnecessarily store them like I am. I would like them to implement some sort of, I don't know, maybe like some sort of table similar to like the grain mill or something. But it could be like a grinder where you take your unused old items and it grinds them and poops out a little bit of the resources that you used and put forth to making that. It's not going to give you the full amount because that would be OP. But it could give you a, a, a percentage of what you put in to create that item so that you don't have just unnecessary items stored away because unlike me you're like mm, maybe I'll find a use for that one day um another thing is some of these are aesthetic things um I would like them to add uh string lights because then you could decorate things and almost make them look almost like Christmassy I mean just the season um or also uh straight uh, string lights so you could line pathways with them so uh, when you get to building like a, a major city or a town or whatnot you can have all these lights on the outskirts of your path lighting up your pathway and I think that would look absolutely amazing um, another thing people have speculated and they have been hinted at a little bit is tameable and mountable mobs um people have talked about possibly the wolves um one thing i would love to see and i mentioned in another video is horses i think horses would be amazing in this game um damn cow um i'd also like them to implement fishing into this game um and along those same notes, underwater exploration or the ability to dive underwater and have little Easter eggs or hidden things under the water versus us just like swimming around in the water to get across to the other side or getting stuck in there and then running out of stamina and getting teleported to the other side. I wish we could be able to swim around, dive under the water, do some underwater exploration. Um... Maybe some underwater gear, like a scuba tank or something like that. Um, also, I still would love to see different arrow types. Uh, I mentioned that in one of my other videos too. Um, I would love the ability to create, I don't know, like poison arrows or fire arrows or frost arrows. And then those... Uh, correlate and add addition or, or do additional damage to uh, different mobs in their opposing biomes. Um, pets is another one people said possibly because like in, in Minecraft you have the wolves that you can tame and have as pets, you have cats, you have all sorts of things. Um, also other biomes is a big one people are going to talk uh, uh, I've heard a lot of talk about for like what biomes are they going to add a lot of people are talking about possible jungle biomes again I just need to work out on these new pieces of meat um, I would love a jungle biome I love jungle areas it's nostalgic I used to live in I lived in Africa for several years and some of the areas where I lived were super jungly and it was amazing um, I'd love to see the type of mobs that they would have in that area um, I'd also like to see bamboo, uh, in that area if they do decide to add it. And then also corresponding construction buildings that are made out of bamboo. Uh, on that same note, in the desert, another thing that I believe could be cool is adobe clay structures that you could build to, I don't know, fit the vibes more. Um, there was something else I was going to say, and I totally spaced, but now I'm going to kill these chickens. Give me your meat, you bum. So, 
Oh, also, I've heard talk of zip lines coming. Zip lines, I feel like, would be super nice. And I hope they would implement a way for us to go up and down the same zip line, just like in the regular game. Because some games, they have zip lines, and I mean, gravity, it is a thing. So, uh, I hope um, they make it so you can go travel up and down your zip lines, not just down. So, uh, let me know in the comments what of these implementations you would like to see in the future. And to keep playing this game, because this game is absolutely amazing. Also, check out these freaking new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle skins. These things are freaking amazing, man. These things are great. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye. Sunrise, I go to take my morning dip in the lake. Oh, what a beaut! Gonna drop in the water, women all around. Just like the 